hiker hunger last night. Going to sleep. So I was like <laughs> some stuff that felt like a python. <laughs> I was thinking about like big old steak or something. God, man. <laughs> Hiker hunger on day two. I told you I'm a fat kid. All right. Well, day three has begun. Got a mile and a half or so up to a marked car. He wouldn't let us carry the leftovers from last night, but he's got his is cooler with a uh, few leftovers and uh but that was very much appreciated it could have could not have tasted any better after that last uh, climb yesterday crack open a cold beer <laughs> good stuff but uh we've got a shorter mileage day today um but we're going down into and then back up out of Linville gorge so more climbing but that's what we came here for. About a mile and a half up to where uh, Mark's car is parked. We're gonna drop a little bit of trash, top off with water, and then he's on. Good times. Mark is just the gift that keeps on giving. So he's topping us off with water and pumpkin bread cake. Um, pretty much amazingness. Quick break here, and then we'll head on. Good times. Well, we've kind of been in a green tunnel since yesterday, once uh, Joe and I summited the knob. Even though we've been pretty high up, I mean, between 35 and 3600 feet, um, we haven't been able to really get the views. But we're headed up and uh, just popped out one of these views. Just incredible. More to come for sure. Very good times. rather unique view of Table Rock Mountain because you'll see a lot of pictures of it where it's kind of wide and blocky but from this angle it looks like a knob there's short off and we're gonna we're gonna go up this side of short off up that ridge line and the chimneys are right in the middle chimney gap and then we'll go up to Table Rock and we're probably gonna camp right around there but you see that not the tallest knob that's Table Rock and then to the left of it there's a, a knob a small one that's a little Table Rock and then on the left, on the other side of the valley, that's uh, Hawksbill Mountain. And we won't be going to Hawksbill. Uh, we're gonna drop it off and go around it. Uh, we're up on uh, Pinnacle, Pinnacle Ridge, and uh, maybe some of the most spectacular views we've had yet on the trip. Yesterday was pretty, pretty hard to beat, but I think this might take it. This is the reason we come out on these trips, right here. Beautiful, you can kind of see that ridge over there, you may or may not be able to see the two towers, the two like cell towers. Uh, we camped just on the other side of those last night. Um, but sometimes there just are not words. There's, you can see a whole bunch of Lake James out here. Just beautiful. Very good times. Just had pretty significant downhill. My knees are singing. But uh, I think we're getting close to the bottom of the gorge. But it's just beautiful out here. Finally looking back up at some stuff. But we're going to make up all of that lost elevation in not too much time. But just soaking it all in. Good times. Made it to the Linville River. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's pretty much all uphill from here. 
we've had a significant, significant downhill um, for the last couple, maybe an hour and two or something like that. But it's just after 11, and this is as good as lunch spot as any. It's a little early, but we're gonna need the calories for the next couple of miles for sure. But uh, just hanging out, good times. As my brother just said, milk was a bad choice, but we're slowly making our way up the gorge. I believe that's Pinnacle Ridge or Pinnacle Point, however they say it. That's where we were a few hours ago. It's gorgeous. Can't wait to get to the top. Good times. Well, we made it to the top of Short Off Mountain, or maybe not the top, but close to the top. And uh, definitely gives you some instant gratification for all the work that we just put in. Um, holy smokes, you can see the river where we were just uh, taking a bath, way down there. If you look across the gorge, there's Pinnacle, where we were before lunch. And then if you look really far on the other side of that ridge, uh, you can see the cell towers that, uh, where we were camped, or near where we were camped. So, <sighs> definitely gives you some satisfaction. Like, you can actually see how far you're coming. You're not just stuck in this green tunnel all the time. But absolutely, spectacularly rugged and gorgeous. But uh, a lot more exposed than I was expecting. We've been in the sun a lot. So I've been drinking a lot more water than maybe I had planned on, but still beautiful. Good times. That's what I was just noticing as I stood over here. Well, we Topped off water at a uh, spring at the top of Short Off Mountain. So this is one of the campsites we had kind of earmarked potentially for uh, for tonight. I mean, this is a honey of a spot. Mark is uh, confident that there's another cool spot, and it's only like two o'clock. So we're going to keep moving. Uh, we're going to try to crank out another five miles, which I think is definitely doable. But the views just don't quit. Unbelievable. You can kind of see, peak out there on the left is Bald Knob. It's the one that Joe and I climbed yesterday. Uh, and then Dobson Knob is to the right. And then just on the other side of that is Mount Mitchell. So you can see all of that from here. Just beautiful. Good times. Easing right along, so we can see our destination for the day, although it does not feel close, but it is pretty. Um, that's uh, the chimneys out there. That's Table Rock to the right. We're gonna go up this little ridge and camp somewhere along in that, that general vicinity. But uh, just a fantastic day, good times. Made it to Chimney Gap, which is kind of the low point. We've come downhill from, uh, just had a brain fart, Short Off? Short Off Mountain? Yep. Yeah. So we hey, just- Austin, asked me if it was hard to get up to Short Off. Was it hard to get up to Short Off? Yeah, Short Off. <laughs> Good times, Mark. Day three, folks. We've still got three more days. Anyways, we're in Chimney Gap and 
that's where we got to go up to the chimney. So mileage wise, it's not that far, but it looks kind of far from down here, but no way there, but forward. Good times. You know, sometimes you say there's no words. Well, there's two reasons for that. First is the obvious, holy smokes, you kidding me view. The second is we just came up that. So that's why I have no oxygen. But uh, we're gonna hang out here. Uh, Mark was taking a quick breather and then he's gonna join us. And then we're gonna go find a campsite and call it a day. Good times. Home stretch for the day. You gotta work for them. Those views. I don't have the words for it. So that sharp cliff on the left is uh, where we, it was just a couple hours ago, I guess. Can't even see where we had lunch. There's been some serious climbing. Beautiful. Good times. Well, I have to do the math to figure out how many miles we did today. But uh, today was supposed to be a shorter day at 10 and some change. And I think we've done 12. It was not, it's not 12. We, uh, we pushed on on Mark's recommendation because we're pretty much on a ridge line. So we can have views that direction. And we have views that direction. Um, and then we're just sitting in the shadow of these, of the chimneys. Very, very cool. But I am 100% whooped. So it's gonna be shelter and food. <sighs> Good times. shot it's important that you are in the shot you set yourself down wherever you want these award-winning YouTube videos don't just happen on their own I know that I know that I almost should have run a chair <laughs> Same thing, man. Why? Just because it hates you. I have been thinking about this meal for most of the afternoon. This is my all-time favorite dehydrated meal, uh, shepherd's pie. If you're interested in the recipe, go watch Shill Brothers. Uh, they, the, I pretty much stole it from them and then added a few extra vegetables. Um, it is amazing. Joe is already lusting over it. I'm not sharing. Yeah, I'm pretty much there. So I've decided that we're gonna zero here tomorrow. <laughs> We've got like 35 miles. -ish. There's a parking lot right down there. We can just oh, we just split the last two days into two, you know, 17 days, 17 mile days. I know you could do it. We could. No, I'd be grumpy. We'll see how I feel in the morning. But that's the plan right now. Okay. Fair see. enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I just can't. I mean, just this place is. It feels like another world. It's incredible. 
but uh, I was up, I'm just gonna call it like the tree house because that's what it felt like when I was up now. <clears throat> but uh, Joe's been carting around some bourbon. And so I left my, my bourbon down here to uh, have as a nightcap. I'm not sure if you can pick that up or not. There are, there are exactly six dead gnats <laughs> in the bourbon. But they're very happy gnats. Well, they, <laughs> they, died happy they, they died a happy death, I guess. Uh, so I guess you gotta, you gotta, everything's in moderation, right? So these gnats clearly did not moderate themselves and paid the price, but I think we're gonna hang out until the sun goes down and then apparently Joe's gonna stay here. So we're not gonna hike out tomorrow. <laughs> what a day. Is it? extremely challenging day of hiking but the rewards far outweigh what we had to do to get here there are no words for this place but I'm just taking it in sitting up here this is why these trips happen it's for moments like this very very good times we'll see you in the morning Back on trail. Then uh, it started as a very serene morning. I uh, woke up to watch the sunrise and it's super cloudy, so wasn't much of a sunrise, but still just very peaceful sitting up on the, on the ridge. But I had a major camera malfunction, sort of, if you wanna call it a camera malfunction. But I was switching out SD cards in my GoPro and took the one out of the GoPro that I've been using for the last three days. <clears throat> and I've got a little holder for it. And as I put it into the holder, it wasn't quite going. And so I just pushed a little harder and I hear this click. And I snapped my mini SD card. So it's not in completely two pieces, but it's definitely cracked. And I'm like, ah. so there's a good chance that I'm not gonna be able to recover that. And uh, well, the Mountains of Sea Trail segment four videos are just gonna be a lot shorter, but whatever, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it now, I'm just doing my best not to dwell on it and still, still be in the moment. But just a little bit down trail to the parking lot. We'll take a quick breather and then he's on. Good times. into uh, day four and uh, we're gonna stop and get some water there's a, a trickle of a stream it was on the map and it seemed promising on the map but we're just gonna have to make it work because it pretty much dries up all the way down so 
and there isn't water for a while. So it is what it is. We'll go fill up. He's on. Good times. Moving right along. We, uh, from Table Rock, entered the green tunnel and uh, still beautiful, but not the views that we had yesterday. Pretty hard to compare any view to what we had yesterday. But uh, a few miles under our belts and I wanna say the next few miles, we've been kinda getting spoiled with the downhills, but we're gonna have a few short uphills here and there. Good time. Well, we made it to our lunch spot for the day. It's about 11.20. Burned off all our calories from this morning's breakfast, but we've been following Steels Creek um, for a little bit. And it's been some challenging hiking. I think if you were to compare it like, like the last two days, or actually honestly the last three days, uh, the challenge has been like drinking out of a fire hose. And today's challenge is more like drinking out of a, a garden hose. Still plenty there though. But uh, much needed caloric intake. Rest the feet and ease on. Good times. Oh no. Made it to another Forest Service road, but that's where we came from. It's probably about a two mile uphill ish, sort of, kind of. But another mile and some change up to uh, Highway 181. Is it 881? 181. 181, yep. My brain's starting to get fried. And then uh, we've got a, a campsite earmarked at about five miles from here. We'll see if, uh, if we want to stay there or press on, or we'll just kind of take that through hikers mentality and camp where we're uh, camp where we get tired. Good times. All right, made it across the highway. Oh, been coming uphill for at least a few miles. So this is the mark of at least not the constant uphill. It'll be ups and downs, but relatively straightforward hiking. Good time. So about 12 and a half miles in for the day. Um, this is our last known water source for the next four miles. Um, but I think we're about, about ready for camp. There's another campsite um, in about a mile. And I think that's gonna be home for the night. Uh, 
because there's no other campsites past that, at least that are marked on the map for five miles. So we do with what we got. So we're gonna camel up here and uh, have some good times. Well, I think we're home for the night. Well, we're at the end, dead end of a four service road, about quarter after three. And we've been going, we left uh, the chimneys this morning at 7.30, so I'd say that's a good day. Just over 13 and a half, I wanna say 13.6 is what Gaia said. So we'll sit down here a little bit, formulate a plan for the next two days and enjoy ourselves. Good times. Yeah, I don't want to carry this airsoft can home. Let's just throw it to fire. It'll burn. It'll, it'll burn up. Just got to get it hot enough. It'll melt right to it. I don't know how, but I'm hungry. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Apparently I was a bad influence on Mark, but it's uh, 4.15 and we're eating dinner because we're hungry. So I've got uh, some spaghetti that was an experimental recipe that actually turned out okay. Not something that I would be like, oh yeah, it's great, but it definitely fills the void when you're hungry. So we're eating like we're at the old folks home. Spaghetti at 4.15 for dinner. Sounds good for... The stuff that burned really well is the stuff that I found. Outside. Yeah, the firewood they were selling was all green. Oh, I may have mentioned uh, about burning lots of calories on these trips and uh, it's a unique opportunity for me to pretty much eat as much and whatever I want. So when I was putting together this breakfast skillet um, recipe I was kind of guesstimating on portions because uh, I dehydrated all the ingredients separately and uh, so I portioned it out just way too big. There was, it was too much too much for me so I've been slowly like each morning I've been putting a little bit aside. Because of that, I've got about one serving of breakfast skillet. And so I've got some extra tortillas, uh, and I'm going to make a burrito. But, as you may have noticed, I already ate spaghetti for dinner. So I'm going full on <coughs> Hobbit Town and having second dinner, because apparently I'm the fat kid, but I'll own it, I'm hungry times. Well, it's pretty late. It's about 7.45. <laughs> um, but uh, we're pretty much beat, so it's going to be, uh, we might beat the, beat the sun to bed tonight, but it's a great day. Got a really fun day tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. It's in familiar territory. I've actually hiked before, so that'll be neat to kind of come into it this way. Um, so, yeah. See you in the morning. Good times.